on the second story time. First one, I was minding her business, I was at dance, and then this boy texted me. I, I don't know him, I didn't know him at all. It's just like I knew of him, but I didn't know him. And he texted, he DM'd me actually, and he was like, hi, my name is Jack. And I was just wondering like how old you are. And I was like, 16? I think I was probably 16. I think I was 16. Um, yeah, I was like, I'm 16. He was like, oh, I'm 17. Uh, the reason I asked is because my mom told me to look for more friends and you're around my age group. So I'm like, okay, but like the nice person that I am, I'm not gonna be like, no. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so he would like always text me. He always DM me like, he did not, yeah, he never got my number. He just DM'd me. <laughs> he just DM'd me. So he got my, he got my, um, my Instagram name or whatever. And the weird thing was his older brother, like, I was like so much younger, like, he's the younger brother, his name is, let's say his name is Jack, and Jack is 17, his older brother was like 19, and his older brother one time was like, you're really cute, I can't stop looking at you, when I was like 14, I was like, you're creeping, you're creeping me out right now, like, please stop. <laughs> So anyways, so he would um, DM me a lot and he would just ask me questions about like my life and stuff and so one time he was like, I'm really trying to get to know you, your hair, like when I get married my wife is going to have natural hair so she can set an example for my daughters <sighs> and I was just cracking up. But he's like, I want to get to know you, like, what, like, what's your biggest insecurity? And I was like, my teeth, but don't go looking for any pictures because I don't really want you to look at that. And he was like, oh, okay, like, I understand. Then a couple, a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, it was like a couple days later, he was like, guess what? And I'm like, what? And he's like, I think I found a picture of you with your teeth. They're not even that bad. I was so upset because I'm like, this is people. People really annoy me. Like, you you ask me what my biggest insecurity is. I tell you my teeth. I say don't look for pictures, and you go and you deliberately look for pictures. Like, you was mad weird. So. He said, guess what? I found pictures with your teeth. They don't even look that bad. And I was like, why would you do that? And, I, and he was like, oh, it was just a joke. I didn't see the pictures. No, you are lying right now. Like, you, why would you tell me that just to say it was a joke? It's not a joke. You deliberately went and went to look for them and I told you not to. Why would you do that? And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So that's when I think I just stopped responding. Like I had, I, I think this was a Saturday, so I had a full day of dance and I just stopped responding. Like, and you know how on Instagram you can see that you've been, you've been left on the scene. I just kept leaving him on scene. It's like when I don't, like when I'm upset, I don't want to talk to you. So, so I kept leaving him on scene. So he was like, um, I wrote a poem for you. I'm like, uh-oh. He's like, do you want to hear it? I'm like, he said, I've been working on it all night. So he sent me the poem. He was like, Christian, can you please forgive me? I was like, okay. Um, yeah, this is your last chance, though. Don't make me regret it. Like, stop. So 
uh, we were fine after that. I was just like, I'm just honestly just trying to be nice to this person. Like, I'm not that person that's going to say, okay, I'm, you're looking for friends and I'm not going to be friendly. So I'm like, okay, just keep being nice. It'll work out, Christian. Just keep being nice. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. Oh, 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 oh. Kept texting me too much. And I was like, dude, like, can you stop with the what you're doing, what you do in every five seconds? Like, you have to you have to do something else with your life. Like, I cannot be texting you all day. I'm actually busy. So you text me one time, I don't respond. It doesn't mean triple text, double text. And he was like, okay, I got you, I got you. But he kept doing it. Remember, he lied about something. And I was like, please stop talking to me. And then he had a little temper tantrum. I'm like, baby, I already told you what the rules are. So why are you getting upset? And I was like, yeah, um, can you please stop talking to me? And then eventually I blocked him because he just kept talking to me. And I was like, okay, you're done. And this dude, like, he's so wild. Like, he follows, he's friends with my mom on Facebook. And he followed, I think he followed her on Instagram. Like, he literally followed my mom on all this stuff. I'm just like, that's so weird to me. So, <laughs> when I had Facebook, um, before I temporarily deactivated my account, I was minding my own business. And this was, the creepy thing is, this was the day that CoStar was like, something or someone from your past may pop up. And I tell you, every time co-star says someone or something from your past may pop up they pop up they pop up so i checked my facebook messenger and um he said hey how are things i was so scared i just deleted the message and i was like that is so weird like that is mad weird so, after I blocked him, he goes to one of my friends, and he's like, hey, my name is Jack, and I think you have, you know this girl named Christian, and she was like, yeah, I do, what about her? And he's like, what would you do if you did something bad and, and somebody that you really cared about stopped talking to you? And she was like, Oh, well, I would explain the situation and then if they didn't want to talk to me after that, I just have to let it go. And he was like, yeah, I explained the situation to her and she's still not listening. And she was like, well, I don't really know what to tell you. Like, you, you broke her trust, so there's nothing you can do about it. And I don't know what he said after that, but I just remember those screenshots. But back to this new story. So I worked at um, I worked at a dance studio in the summertime, and they had two different types of employees. They had the dancers, and they had admin. So I was a dancer. I was actually captain. I was actually captain that year, and there was this girl, and. Her, let's call her, let's call her Layla. She was interested in women. Let's say, say that she's interested in women. And so she, <laughs> she always came in the room while we were dancing asking us to play like trap songs, like the weirdest trap songs. And like, it was just weird. But one day, I had on my Adidas soccer pants, and she's like, yeah, dang, Christian, like, your butt is fat, and it made, me, <laughs> it made me so uncomfortable, like, it's like, Layla, bro, I don't know you, I just met you two days ago, you're, you're on admin, like, stay in, 
Stay over there with the admin and let me be a dancer. Shot is falling. So she just wouldn't leave it alone. Like she always had something slick to say to me. And I was just like, bro, can she leave me alone? Like least contact possible. So one day um, I only followed one other, per one or two other people that were I was dancing with that summer, and somehow she found my Instagram. I don't know how she found it. I don't know if she went through and looked at their followers and found me, or how she found me. All I know is, she, all she knew was my first name. Unless she looked at like the admin records and found my my. I, but, I don't know, it was weird, honestly. So, she found my Instagram. I don't remember she if she DM'd me, but I know she sent me a follow request because my page was private. She sent me a follow request and I, de I declined it because I was scared of her. Like, she's always saying slick stuff to me, like unsolicited things, and I don't, no, 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 no. So, she sent me the request and I declined it and after that like I think it was like a day or two later she accepted she requested me again and I was like bruh no no so I was like okay I have to be here for five more weeks until this program is over so i'm just not accepted i'm just happy to see it so when i tell you that girl stayed on requested for about six months i was so scared because i was like what if i decline her again and she like because she used to carry a pocket knife with her and i was like what if i decline her again and she like does something to me like so the whole rest of the five weeks i just left it on requested and I didn't accept it. So like six months later, I was like, okay, the coast is clear. And she had a good follower. She had like up in the like, it was up there. It was between like 4K and 10K. Cause DC is small. So everybody be knowing everybody. But yeah, that is the second story time of my Instagram stalker who I, rejected their request and then they requested it again so yeah